Hi, my name's Daniel. Welcome to the Almagir.net vlog. Today, I'm going to be talking about Birmingham Sports Holdings, the parent company of Birmingham City Football Club in Hong Kong. Since 2009, Birmingham City Football Club have been owned by a Hong Kong parent company. Originally called Grand Top International Holdings, they became Birmingham International Holdings and they're now Birmingham Sports Holdings. Who are these people in Hong Kong? What do they do? How do they put money into Birmingham City Football Club? Questions I'm going to answer today. So let's start with who they are. Birmingham Sports Holdings are a company registered in the Cayman Islands with its head office in Hong Kong and are listed on the main board of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. It's been through a few name changes and office moves in the last decade, but essentially it's always been the same thing, a holding company. What that means is, while they own Boeing City and a couple of other companies, at the head office they don't actually do that much. In fact, the impression I've always been given is that the head office is merely somewhere they can have a meeting or watch a game or get their mail delivered. Now, I'm quite lucky. I've been to uh, three different addresses of Birmingham Sports Holding in Hong Kong over the years. When I first visited Hong Kong back in 2013 for Carson Young's trial, I went to what was then Birmingham International Holdings head office in Harbour Centre, Wan Chai. Um, as I went in, the reception was very grandiose. Uh, there was uh, the name Birmingham International Holdings in big gold letters and a big gold representation of the Ball and Globe logo uh, in the reception area. However, behind the frosted doors at the back, I'm not sure actually much went on. There would no doubt have been people in the office day to day doing things like looking after the books, filing receipts, accounts, that sort of stuff. But I'm not actually convinced that there was much in the way of creation of either products or services in Hong Kong. This was backed up the third time I went to Hong Kong to see uh, Birmingham Sports Holdings. That was in 2018. I went to uh, their offices in Vertical Square, Aberdeen. Uh, with Margaret Decker of Blues Trust. Now, they knew we were coming and they had people there ready to greet us and to show us around a little bit of the office. We got shown a bar, lounge area where people could meet and watch the games, as it were. But there was no one else in the office. And the, again, the impression was that no one did anything in the office, that the only reason there were people in the office was because they knew we were coming. So if Birmingham Sports Holdings don't do anything in Hong Kong, well, what do they do? Now, other than Birmingham City, uh, BSH owns two other businesses. The first business is a stake in an office slash residential complex in the Cambodian capital, uh, Phnom Penh, called One Park. Birmingham Sports Holders took on uh, this business, One Park, uh, in t December 2018. It was, in effect, a reverse takeover. Rather than paying money for their stake in the One Park development, they offered shares in Birmingham Sports Holding, equity. So instead of paying money for it, the owner of the development, a Cambodian by the name of Von Pick, became the second largest shareholder in Birmingham Sports Holdings. One Park is a controversial development. It was built on land uh, created by the draining of Burn Cat Lake and it involved the uh, resettlement of thousands of people who lived on the shores of the lake. This was highlighted in various articles in the English-speaking Cambodian press and other people like that. As part of the deal, Birmingham Sports Holdings were meant to receive rent of about 2.8 million per year uh, for the office blocks and residential blocks that they're taking over. Um, however, the last set of accounts showed that they're only getting about £400,000, which indicates that the uh, development is only about 16% occupied. This time last year, Birmingham Sports Holdings also bought a stake in another company called Wang Mei Online Beijing Technology Company Limited, who are a lottery services company. Wang Mei Online offer lottery solutions to companies. Uh, for example, in the Cambodian market, there's a company called KTV that operates a lottery there. And Wang Mei uh, basically offer, gave them the software to operate their website and support to back it up. The purchase of Wang Mei Online is due to guarantee a profit of about three million pounds over three years of BSH, which while not a great deal of money, is money coming in. However, the purchase of Wang Mei Online was Again, a controversial purchase. Um, when they made the purchase, when they made the announcement to the stock exchange, Birmingham Sports Holdings neglected to tell shareholders that uh, their chairman, Zhou Wenqing, uh, Wen 
was also once a director of Wang Mei Online. Apparently, he was only a nominee for uh, another guy called Gao Lei. This is according to a subsequent announcement. Gao Lei is another name linked to the elusive Mr. King. So, with Blues having uh, confirmed their place in the championship, financial meltdown realistically has been averted. But what's the future hold for BSH? Now, like everyone who's a Blues fan, I was relieved that um, even though we lost to Derby County, Birmingham City held their place in the championship. And it was good news for Birmingham Sports Holdings too, really good news, because the drop to League One would have been catastrophic. The, uh, the change in revenue would have been massive. And if you can imagine, that would shrunk the size of the company somewhat and would have given the stock exchange maybe a bit more uh, leeway to say, well, hold on a minute, your company doesn't make enough money to be on the, the stock exchange, you know, we might take uh, we might take steps to delist it. Now, before anyone gets excited, woo, you can get rid of the listing, that takes years. So it would have been just years of mess. In an ideal world, uh, Birmingham Sports Holdings needs the club to get promoted to the Premier League. Promotion to the Premier League brings in a lot of cash, a lot of revenue, also gives opportunities to make more revenue from sponsorships and stuff like that. And that's all good, both for the club and for Birmingham Sports Holdings. They sh- realistically, logically, they need the club to succeed. The, the problem is, there's not just football things to worry about. Now, on Tuesday night, the night before the Derby game, uh, China State TV decided it wasn't going to show Premier League games anymore. I think the uh, there was a Liverpool game on, they just cancelled it from their schedules. Just boom, gone. And it's not the first time they've done stuff like this. When... Um, people in America were critical of the Hong Kong protests. They dropped the NBA um, when an NBA coach got involved in saying something about it. And China is not happy with the UK because of Hong Kong, uh, Xinjiang, uh, because of Huawei. And this could have a snowball effect because while it's only like at the moment that the, the state TV who aren't the rights holders, they, they, they lease the rights from someone else, are saying, oh, we're not going to hold games anymore. All it takes is the government to start getting antsy and say to Chinese companies, well, you can't sponsor any Premier League teams anymore. You can't own Premier League teams anymore. And with all the stuff that's gone on, Hong Kong is China, unfortunately for us. And there is a possibility in the future, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it could happen. There is a possibility in the future that uh, the Chinese government says to Hong Kong owns football clubs um, you've got to get out now again I can see people being happy about that but if that did happen it'd get messy and it'd get messy for everyone whether we want to see that happen or not I, I really don't know anyway um, for the next episode I want to talk more about BSH and I want to talk about the money that Birmingham City owe to BSH and who BSH owe money to because it's a bone of contention and it's also about our future as a football club. Now, if you've liked this video, please click the like button and please subscribe for more content about Birmingham City and their owners. Uh, If you click the little bell, it'll notify you when I post a new video. If you want to support the channel any further, there are um, ideas of how you can do that in the uh, description on YouTube. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, keep right on.